Hello, I'm your friendly neighborhood, Luis Perez. Now, there's many things that we should expect for Ant-Man, especially that new teeth that'll be coming out somewhere this year. Also, I didn't say this last video, but hello and welcome to 2015. I thought I should say that, considering I have been, I have not, I haven't, I haven't said that for a while. We just made it to a new year. Oh my goodness, I hope we can expect a lot of great things this year. One of those great things is Ant-Man. And really, this discussion has to go with his arch nemesis, Yellow Jacket. Now, there's been many concerns about how they're going to portray Yellow Jacket in the film. Yellow Jacket isn't exactly a villain that many people can take seriously. But I think there could be some things that would exterminate. <clears throat> Our concerns. Just recently, they released a poster for the Ant-Man movie, and of course, we see Ant-Man, you know, he looks awesome in his costume and all that, but then we also get to see Yellow Jacket's design, which we have not seen for quite a while. And apparently, I have to say, Yellow Jacket looks awesome. Like, he has, like, the black and the yellow in his helmet, looks kind of similar to Firefly from Arkham Origins, and the costume kind of looks similar to Arkham Origins, and he also has, like, these spider-like technicals on his on his hip. I don't know what else do I don't think I don't think I don't think he's trying to represent that of a spider. If not, if so, he's probably the first spider slayer we're gonna get in these films. Wow. That would be an interesting crossover. But anyway, so yeah, Yellow Jacket looks pretty darn awesome. I must admit. Now really we don't we don't we don't see him that well Okay, we see we have a pretty good shot of, of of Yellow Jacket, but not really much else. We don't see that much footage of Yellow Jacket. But from what we do see of him, he looks pretty darn awesome. It looks like the tentacles are holding different claws and all that. He looks like he's going to be a very formidable foe for the Ant-Man. Now, what his role will be in the film and how they'll deviate him from the comics... I don't know, but hopefully he's not just going to be another whiplash, where he, he gets built up a lot, he looks cool, but really, he's just a bad villain in the actual film. Hopefully that's not, they don't go that route. But hey, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Comment down below. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. If you like, I'm your friend, Neville Lewis Perez, and I'll see you next time. Speaking of Batman, remember when I first turned to a small guy? Well, I just, but I just, I, I found out that I actually had the ability to shrink. I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm like an everyday Ant Man. <laughs> all I need to, all I, all I need to do is this.